I'm guys, I'm trying to hang in here with you. Yeah. I really am trying to hang in here with you. But just as I was about to move on to the next thing. Oh, and I should also this, say uh, Dink Doink 2 is uh it's gold stamp, like it's backed by gold. You can turn oh, Dink sure. Doink 2 in anywhere for gold. You gotta have it, Dink Doink 2. The, just as I'm ready to like move on to the next bit, I saw that screenshot I sent earlier. And I sent you a picture from a real movie about the mask and Danny DeVito yep. Penguin and Mr. Freeze and Agent Smith watching Don Cheadle watch LeBron James and Bugs Bunny play basketball. Uh -huh. And I don't know. It feels like a Photoshop that one of our fans made up about one of our great skits. Right. Like, what? Are, this is the same episode. What do we do? Like, what? Are, things are outpacing us. Reality is outpacing us. Can I us. tell you what's bothering me about this picture, Justin? If you look over, like, if you follow back Don Cheeto to Penguin to maybe Alexis Rose, I don't know. I don't want to do jokes about a picture no one can see. Yeah. We'll post it. Oh, my God. That is Alexis from Shits Creek. This fucking moment. Anyway, um, so I'm kind of having a little bit of a crisis about this. I don't know what our, I don't know what our contribution is to the culture at this point. At this point, I'm not Classic sure. currency. So we can kind of circle back around and get less weird. Oh, you know yes. what? We'll start back at the beginning, baby. Trade economy. I'll give you one goat. You give me two bushels of grain. Charlie, uh, Travis. Did you just call me Charlie? Yeah. Did you just call me? Yeah, th that should give you a secret hint oh. to the tone that's approaching. You, we, we have never really been a sort of currency-focused enterprise. I don't know why we need to circle back around Earth on the currency front. I'm talking like in the currency of ideas, the original currency. Oh, okay. well, maybe we need to. It needs. We need to like get less weird, right? Like we need to somehow like become the McNeil Air News Hour. Oh, you're saying everyone else is getting so weird that it's like maybe the new thing. Maybe the grounding. new thing that we could do is be like, now we do fresh air. Oh, you know? okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's awesome. Well, we've already got movie reviews you can use. We Let's got... delete the first 12 minutes of this episode then, okay. where we talk enthusiastically about Space Jam 2. And in fact, let's just try, actually, this is great. This is a great way to end the show. Okay. Let's try the intro again, but we'll talk about Space Jam 2 like we don't, like we're not excited about okay. it. Okay, okay. Yeah, gotta, gotta, gotta. yeah, we can do that, we can do that. Okay, 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 okay. Bring us in, Justin, bring us in. Hi, welcome to, oh, can we, ch the name of the show is the same, right? Mm -hmm. uh, well, you can make it like brother talking brother. Um, brother, brother zone. Brother, brother no, zone sounds zone, like a good show. Yeah, yeah Terry Gross's whimsical. next show is called Brother Zone. <laughs> yeah. Fresh brother. Fresh brother, okay. No, I'll figure it out. It doesn't matter. It's a touch of brother. Matter. Meeting nope. of no, no, the mind. Really, so bad at this. The um, mind. Meeting of the of the of the great mass. You're trying to get clever, and it needs to be like more boring. Yeah, you're right. Oh, you're right, right. Pod chat. Podcast. Hey, okay. Yeah. Hello, and welcome to the podcast chat show. Uh, a show hosted by me, Justin McRoy, and my two brothers, Travis and Griffin. Uh, on today's episode, uh, what are we going to be discussing, Griffin? Griffin McElroy. Today, we'll be discussing the disgracefully zany major motion picture, Space Jam 2, Space Jam A New Legacy. Now, Travis, they've been trying to get this one made for quite some time. Is that right? Some stops and starts. Uh, yes, it's been in the works for uh, about 25 years now. And I, I think it shows because it really reflects the mentality of the geopolitical culture that existed back in 1996 when it was conceived. And I don't think that it accurately reflects the current culture of the uh -huh. time. I need to step in here and say please, at one point in the film, an old, uh, let's say, nemesis to civility reared his head. And I am talking about Austin Powers. No. And when he arrived on the scene, I started to um, throw up because of how 
absolutely wild and unexpected. This is a children's film about a rabbit who can dunk a basketball. And Austin Powers is a rival on the scene um, talking about his genitals and (laughs) how much he loves to uh, fornicate. It made me... um, barf up the plane. It's getting weird now. It made, me barf up the, weird. it made me barf up the plain soup I ate now, earlier. Uh, as, as you I both didn't. know, I do not allow my children uh, to watch movies, let alone consume any form of media, and I never sure. will, no right, matter how right. old they become. But the, the idea that somewhere down the line, they might be talking to a human being who has seen this movie, and they would recount this scene in which Austin Powers discusses his genitals. It makes me vomit uh, the 1,000 oyster crackers I consumed this morning on a dare. I also ate 1,000 oyster crackers (laughs) this morning, but they were unsalted. Of course. I ate a picture of 1,000 oyster crackers Ah, that was was, uh, tasteless and odorless, but it was, that's what my doctor told me to do for my Various conditions. How big was the picture? Um, Did you find it filling? It was a delicious picture. I, the, I didn't appreciate when Austin Powers appeared in the screen. My children obviously have no frame of reference for yeah, him yeah. and any of his antics. And they, of course, asked me who he was. Oh, Justin, and I'm I wish, so sorry. <laughs> of course they would, though, if you're the makers of this film. You have to expect that. I then had to explain to my children about the British sex fiend. No. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and how yeah. he was basically a British, a British man mm-hmm. who was also had the soul of Shrek mm-hmm. it, it in him. It was confusing for my child as well. It is upsetting to me that they had the opportunity to include Shrek in this film. Who we him. all love. Oh, yes, of course. <clears throat> The Shrek modern, is good. He's the modern Hamlet, <laughs> but that's that, a, no. That was a no. No, that thing you just said, that was weird. And I think you misspoke. And say you should it try again, to say a normal say thing. Normal. Oh, you're right, right, right. Say a normal thing, please. Um, of course, the uh, universal worldwide sex symbol Shrek, whom we all love. Again, again the thing you said. Thing. Just lick what his you said. No. Okay, let me try one more time. No more fun, please. Okay, please, no it, more. Got it. Um, the Republican icon Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> this is what my brother, my brother, me. Thank Coming you so much soon, for listening to it. After the break, dink doink, we hate it. <laughs> Thanks for listening. We hope you have uh, enjoyed yourself 